that over. Oh, this was open a second ago. Um, whoa, whoa, whoa! Yeah, I, I don't, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Something weird here. Oh, I guess this is the scene of the crime right here. So, uh, uh, well, what, what's this? Blood. It's a little warm, but there's definitely a handprint here. Looks like someone tried to wipe it off. Mr. Wright! What if there are other bloodstains left in the room? We should use your testing fluid to check it out. Let's look around at stuff first. Uh, mm -hmm. What is a saw and paint doing here? Since the dawn of time. An interesting way to start this statement. <laughs> True art has always been a war against oppression. True art? I noticed that there's blue and yellow paint here. Oh, is it from the blue mascot? Like, from the mascot? Yeah, yeah. Perhaps we're witnessing the birthplace of the blue badger. Well, you might say this is my studio. Here? In the evidence room? Yeah, definitely won't contaminate <laughs> or compromise any evidence here. Station. <laughs> wow, someone must have broken something big to make it, it make all these pieces. Detective Gumshoe, perhaps. There you go, pal, making me out to be some kind of fool again. That's a battle. That's a battle on three from the case. The case? The SL9 incident bell. The sticker on one of the pieces there. Another piece of SL9 evidence. I wonder what shape these pieces were in before whatever it was broke. You want to try to put it back together? Ha! Good luck, Bale. That's no job for amateurs. Why, I spent a good three hours on that before I had to give up. That's why I always carry around a tube of glue. Oh, this piece looks like the bottom. Let's try putting the rest in place. Oh shit, minigame! That's actually pretty cool. So rotate, I don't rotate the pieces. Um, can you rotate the base? No. No, that looks like it would be towards the top. Yeah, I'm thinking it's the first one. Wait, rotate oh. left or right? Oh. I'm just, it, I'm just rotating around. Okay, so I guess we can just trial and error this to some degree. Yeah. I feel like that's also Maybe closer to the top. One. Seems like it would be towards the top. Uh... Oh, there we there go. We um, I feel like that would go there. Yeah, uh, no. Okay, maybe. Wait, maybe that one just like twi uh, rotated. Wait, was this one? Or oh, there was oh, there was one piece that had like a long, long, like flat-ish side. Unless... Okay. Oh, never mind. Yeah, it's like the size proportions aren't exactly accurate. Yeah. Okay, but now obviously it's getting gonna get easier. Yeah. Uh... Okay, no, not that one. Uh, that doesn't seem right either. Oh, there we go. <laughs> that, that was obvious. <laughs> Um... Wait, what? 
Okay. That's so weird. <laughs> okay, now it's like... Okay. Alright, just two more pieces. Alright, it took Gumshoe three hours and he couldn't get it done? Jeez. Yeah. Can you have a <laughs> game that, like, did it for him if he at least picked the right piece? And it looks like one oh, piece. Oh, we're still missing a big piece, so... Yeah. But we know that. Huh? Well, I think we did it, but some of the pieces are missing. Yeah, I got that far too in two minutes myself. Problem is finishing it. Were some pieces stolen? I bet they were missing to begin with. Still. Doesn't look like the most stable kind of jar. I can't understand how it got broken. Um, I think we. No, oh, it's not. It's still not checked off. No, nope. up there, the open, the open. Uh, okay, yeah. yeah, there's that too. Look, this one's open, and the red indicator light above the door is lit. That locker is coded with Detective Goodman's fingerprint. Detective Goodman's locker? You sure it's okay to leave it open like that? Well, it'd be hard to get it open again if we closed it. It's empty. They must have taken the contents elsewhere. Okay, then there's this. Put these pieces together, makes a jar. There are two things that bother me. One, why are some of the pieces missing? Two, doesn't it seem a little unstable? No wonder it broke. I'll make sure to remember that next time I make a jar. Okay, now let us... Spray. Start spraying. Oh, we spray have a bunch of stuff spray. to actually... Uh, investigate. Yeah. Let's look at some of this stuff first. That's not a thing we can do the investigation thing on. There is that. But look, also, um, wait, go back to that? Like, uh, to the, um, to the log? And look, so, yeah, two people went in at the same exact time. Yeah, I'm, if one, I, I'm assuming the other one is probably Meekins. Hmm. But, Forget if Minkin we'll stumbled him. on him or if uh, Goodman wa stumbled into like Minkin's. Minkin's saw him in the evidence room and went in because he thought he was suspicious. Hmm. Okay. 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 Or at least I'm walking in. We'll show this yeah. to Minkin's afterwards, I think. Yeah. Um, and see what he says. Uh, I'm sure floor plans. Okay. So Walker. Okay, so I can't do anything with this. Okay, okay, let's start spraying. I spray and pray. Well, that obviously. Is that it? Nope, there's no, nope, there's some more. Any other walkers? So, what if you go to the left side, like a oh, panel yeah. to the left side of the um of the room? The car door. Ooh, oh. okay, this locker too. Whoops, I accidentally hit on it. Okay. Why am I getting a reaction here? There's no reason for the murderer to touch this spot if you fled out the door. This just might be something significant. Hey. That's some pretty amazing stuff you got there, Belle. What, this? It's called luminal testing fluid. Where did you get your hands on that? Hmm? I'd like <laughs> to get some too. You're a detective. Do you not have this shit? 
I'll just borrow 50 bucks from the chief. Where do you get this, Emma? I always buy it by mail order. Well, I'd better jot this down on the floor plans. <laughs> um, I think that's probably it. Well, it's funny that they literally didn't say much about. It. Well, I guess it's. We'll probably. It'll probably be important later. Oh, I have to do this stuff again. Okay. No. Okay. It's fine. Let's look at this one. Then I think there was just one more after that. Yeah, there was. I knew it. This is someone's right hand print. What? What's the matter, Detective? Th this locker... It's mine. It's yours? Please. You have to help me. When they come to take me away. <laughs> Promise you'll testify that I wouldn't harm a fly. You'll do that for me, won't you, pals? This is an important clue. Throw it down the four points. I'm counting on you guys. Believe me, you can't trust the mm -hmm. police. Mm -hmm. okay. <laughs> you can't trust the police, even though I am the police. What? You're a detective. Okay. <laughs> that must have been one massive pool of blood. Never seen anything like it. I'm not a professional. What's your opinion, Detective? Hmm. Pale blue blood. Maybe Detective God. Goodman is an alien. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. It was actually an alien. This proves that something really happened in front of this locker. I'll make a note of it on the... Oh. I'll <laughs> Sorry, make a note of good. it on the floor. I mean, you can make the note too, Emma. I, that's fine. I don't care who makes <laughs> the note. Hey, if you didn't want my opinion, you shouldn't, you shouldn't have asked. Okay. Um, I think that was it, right? Yeah. And I don't think I have anything I need to present to I him. guess talk to him once more, see if there's any new... Pro no, okay, no new pro uh, yeah, I don't think there's anything to present to him. I think... Okay, so here's... Let's go to the guard station. Nope, not examine. Let's go see Meekins. Yeah, see if, um... He can... Uh, say something about the log. The That's... Lot. It's, detention center. it's so random. Um... <laughs> oh, whoops, let's I like how his current pose is the same exact one as his picture. This is badge, yeah. <laughs> Officer Meekins, can you take a look at this? Oh, I have no idea what this is. Maybe you should ask Mr. Edgeworth, sir. Actually, we haven't seen Edgeworth yet, have we? N no, yeah. not yet. We well, just seen his... him in flashbacks. Well, his, and his office is one of the rooms we can go to, so we're going to see him sooner or later. Mm -hmm. He's passing the buck, Mr. Wright. Take special kind of man to pass the buck to Edgeworth. <laughs> uh, is that the generic thing? It is. Okay. Yeah. Um... I was gonna say, maybe that means we should go find yeah. Edgeworth? Yeah, let's see. Nope. Let's go there. Um, go there from here. I don't... Nope. No. Okay. Well then, let's go back to talk to the what's his name. Uh. Ah, darn it. Maybe there is something else I need to present to him. Um... Allow me to say one thing, as speaking as a detective. If you see a piece of evidence I know nothing about, I say nothing. Nothing. That's fine. 
You bet these fine bail. Okay. Um, I wonder if that is also the generic response. Yeah, I think so. Let me see. Oops. I mean, we examined oh, we didn't... everything here. No, we didn't. Oh. Oh. We missed a thing. <laughs> okay. Uh... S someone left a glove here. Only one. Detective Gumshoe, maybe. Detective Gumshoe, maybe. There you go, pal. Making me out to be some kind of absent-minded detective. That's evidence from the case, you know. You mean SL9? There's a tag on it. No. Well, Alright, let's uh, make sure we got everything in the room, then. Maybe we're... Yeah. What about that center thing, the console? Like, that's, att that's attached to... No? Nope. Okay. Uh... We try all the lockers, I think, I think right? That's it. Try all the lockers. It's just yeah, in case. I think, I think we did. Uh. Lower. Um. Yeah, yeah. I think we're good. I feel like mm. there's something else. I don't know. And now let's see if we can talk to Edgeworth. Nope. Hmm. Hmm. I mean, there's gotta be... Really nothing we, else we can show Mushu. Let's see. Um, what did we show him? What did we show him? Um, yeah. Uh, did we show him really anything? I don't think. I think we just didn't think there was much worth showing him. Okay. Well, let's, okay. I think we already showed him the ID in a previous time, so maybe we should show him one of the pieces of new evidence. Oh, no, nope, here we go. The ID is different. Okay. That's the victim, Detective Goodman's ID card. These days, everything's... Uh, these days, everything's cards and secret numbers. I can never relax. That's only because you always lose your card. I always forget my secret number two. Scary, huh? My face should be ID enough. What's the word coming to? Detective Gumshoe, rebel against the system. Um. So that was ID. Uh, starts showing, showing him stuff. I think we did uh talk do this one before too. Yeah, it's a game. Yeah. Yeah, like when we first got it, I remember we showed it to him. Um. Yeah, I do remember this. So let's do stuff that we've gotten since then. Yeah. Um. Let's see. That's the photo Miss Star took. Anything you can tell us about it? That's mi that Miss Star is quite the lady. Why, I remember, I, it was winter. I was 16. He was the only one who ever got to talk, uh, got me to talk about what happened. 16? That's how old I am now. I wonder what happened. I wonder if Detective Gumshoe wore a trench coat in high school, too. <laughs> Probably. Okay. Detective Goodman's note, and that switchblade knife. I bet Edgeworth was the most surprised of anyone. Because of the SL9 connection? 
That was Mr. Edgeworth's first big case, you know, two years ago. That was the first time the world knew Edgeworth was a man to be feared. Ooh, okay, this is what we're looking for. But why would mm. evidence from the case turn that case turn up now? I guess it's not over, pal. Maybe there are some loose ends left on that case. Just wanna... Yeah, let's continue showing him stuff just in case. Did you take a look at this? This is the ID card record of the people who came in here on the day of the stabbing. Ah, I heard the rumors. So, it was Goodman who came in here at the time of the murder. Whoa. Okay. What is it? D -d 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 that second number. It's not your ID number, is it, Detective Gumshoe? Mr. Mr. Edgeworth. Oh. Mmm. Plot thickens. What? The second number on this list belongs to Mr. Edgeworth. W what? Okay. How would Edgeworth have come to the evidence room? Oh, that's important too. I have a feeling that was the last thing. Oh wait, uh, you can open it if it gives you cents. Wait, what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask Ant for 50 bucks. Is there a wall? I was forget. No, there isn't. Please were not like faith in its lock system. Okay. Oh, this is important. Okay, I stabbed up oh. the locker. Sometimes he's found dead over the prosecutor's office. Okay, okay. I already showed him this. Yeah. Okay, um... I think... I think now we, we should needed. talk to... Edgeworth. I... I... F that should be what we need. That seemed like... Because I feel like his dialogue prompted we need to talk to Edgeworth. Yeah. Oh my really? god. Really? What the heck else? Okay, see if maybe he has new dialogue, like in the talk option. Okay. Oh, wait, I maybe... Gumshoe probably has new dialogue. Yeah, that's why. That's what I mean. Yes. It, that's, oh, okay, uh, okay. That's why yeah. I mean the Oops. talk option for um, Gumshoe is we presented him two pieces of critical evidence. Yeah, you're right. It's probably Gumshoe. I probably need to. Yeah, yeah. Here we go. That's there we go. Oh my goodness. Oh, Jesus. I'm. <laughs> I, it makes sense. I'm just. He, yeah. You know, I should have checked that in the first place. Whatever. Now that was a bloody violent case. Violent? So it was a murder? A serial killing. A serial killing? Maybe I don't want to get involved in this after all. But the killer made a mistake, and Mr. Edgeworth built his case around that to nab him. And this was two years ago? That put you that put Edgeworth right in the spotlight and started the rumor reel. Rumors about forged evidence. It was supposed to be all cleaned up with the transfer all the other day. It was the last job he ever did. Detective Goodman, that is. Hmm? What do you mean? Detective Goodman was the detective in charge of SL9 Incident C. So, so that switchblade knife... Your victim took the knife out of the evidence locker himself? Oh, what's that here? Oh, that was my line. Whatever. Yeah, uh, the victim took the, locker, the knife out of the evidence locker himself? Hey, pal, look at the time. Was there something you needed to be going to? It's just that Mr. Edgeworth's inquiry committee should be letting out soon. Okay, there finally. we go. Oh my goodness. I'm going to give them my report for the day. It might help, you know. 
report. You mean the note written on the back of that flyer? The one that says nothing but no problems? Hey, it's Mr. Edgeworth we're talking about. I'm sure he can use a report like this. How is this the detective that didn't get fired? <laughs> I believe in him. Who needs enemies when you've got friends like Detective Gumshoe? <laughs> I'm off bail. Later. Okay. Should probably see what Edgeworth has to say, too. Oh my, finally, There geez. we go. There's no way that's not it. And if it's not it, I'm, <laughs> I'm flipping my table. <laughs> oh, thank God. Oh, my, look who it oh, is. Oh, man. Oh, uh, yes, my apologies. Bell. Oh, it's you. Have we met somewhere? Huh? Mr. Edgeworth, I beg your leave. So long. <laughs> Is Edgeworth here? There, standing by the window, a teacup in his hand. Right. He has the hotel bring him tea service? That's so freaking weird. Mr. Edgeworth, you're back from the district prosecutor's office inquiry? I am. By the way, Detective Gumshoe was looking for you. Oh, that was my line. By the way, Detective oh. Gumshoe was looking for you. Yeah. God, I am sorry. I don't know why. <laughs> That's all right. Bad. That's all right. Yeah, if if only it was like Dongan Rampa, where it's like you actually see the person who's talking. You know, well, like, ju just V three. But yes, well, that was the best. Yeah. Ah, yeah. <laughs> uh, yes. He brought me the latest information, it seems. Really? Was it helpful? No. Why would it be helpful? It just had no problems. <laughs> Apparently, a new French restaurant is opening near here. I think he was trying to console me somehow. Um, the real info is on the other side, Edgeworth. <laughs> Poor Mr. Edgeworth, I think this whole thing is really taking a toll on him. Let's go. So how'd the inquiry committee go? Eh? Huh? Eh? Huh? Actually, they decided to treat this not as a case of concealing evidence but as a communications error during the investigation. Concealing evidence? Yes, apparently there are some who believe I that I concealed evidence. It gave me a warning. You were lucky this time. Again. Again? I've heard them say that so many times. Ever since that case two years ago. Are you okay for the trial tomorrow? Well, I'm still the presiding prosecuting attorney. However... Something happened. They gave control of the investigation over to the police department. The police department? Yes, any further investigation for this case will be directed by the Chief of Police, Gan. I could do nothing but wait for his results. I see. Why, I ask you, why? All along, I've done only what I believe is right. I have nothing to be ashamed of. But still... Wow, I've never seen him this out of sorts. Uh, let's um, see. let's present some stuff to him? Yeah, let's... Oh, let's present the, the card record. Yeah. Alright, I better check this now. As I was saying, I... What's this? A record of ID card usage? Edgeworth, you went into the evidence room that day, didn't you? 
just before the incident occurred, no less. Yes, that's true. M why Mr. Edgeworth? Please don't look at me like that. I was asked to go by Chief Ganlo, no less. The Chief of Police? He wanted evidence for a case that wrapped up half a year ago. He told me he wanted to keep it here in the prosecutor's office. But it was solved, right? It would have to be if the evidence was already filed. The Chief has never wanted to explain himself. In any case, on the day of the stabbings, I brought this back here. Can I ask what kind of case it was? I can't say. It really has nothing to do with the current case. Now I'm curious about this other case. I'd better make a note of it. Stubborn as always. I told you this has nothing to do with the current case. Okay. Um... We asked to talk about that? Okay, let's see. What mm. else would be of value here? Probably new stuff. Um... We, uh, let's show them, the, like, some of this stuff. Right, please. I'm the prosecutor on this case. You don't expect me to sit here and discuss a case with you over a cup of tea? Oh, Pat's on the tea. Just tell me about the case. Mr. Wright, Mr. Edgeworth just told you no in a very polite manner. <clears throat> Whose side are you on, anyway? Maybe if I just show him any, my best evidence, I can get some reaction out of him. Okay. So, okay, so that's... Oh, let's actually... Can we look at the screwdriver? No. Right? Or uh, maybe? Yeah. Hmm. Tag says AI-16. What's that got to do with anything? Nothing, apparently. At least that's what Edgeworth said. Hmm, that makes it seem all the more suspicious. Who knows, this might turn out to be the clue that breaks the case. Wouldn't that be nice? It was a screwdriver all along. Um, uh, there's definitely gotta be something. Wait, knife. Oh, oh, wait, what? Whoa, whoa, that whoa. That looked like it was the same, it was the same thing, but it changed. Okay, he must be talking about father's murder in the elevator. Okay, Edgeworth, why don't you tell me about it? Tell me the truth. Okay, I'm gonna do that one again to see what it says. I know you've probably got a hold of some information already, right? To do with that case you're on as a line and some dark suspicion you were wrapped up in. I don't know if I have the worst memory of my life. I figured I'd be telling you about this sooner or later. Okay. Okay, so we can probably talk to him about that. Let's just see if there's anything else we need to present to him. Okay. Um. I think that's the only left. other thing. Mm, maybe Let's this. go to the left. Well, we've done all that, a lot of this other stuff before. This is from the first investigation. Yeah. But I, I don't know if we presented anything to him. We did. We did? Okay. Yeah, we did. We presented most of this stuff to him. Under the first one. Wait, even I mean, the gave, note SL9? Trophy. What about the SL9 note? That one. I mean, this is... He was also... It's it's gonna be the same thing, yeah. So all okay. the stuff with SL9 is gonna be that. Okay. Let's just talk to him about that. The SL9 incident was a heinous serial killing case. The head of the investigation was the deputy chief of police at the time. Damon Gant. 
That wacky old coot was involved in the case two years ago, too, though. He was a top officer, and it was my first time working with him. I was nervous. Wow, you get nervous too, Mr. Edgeworth? What I want to know is why he was a deputy chief of police on the investigation. In truth, I used slightly more extreme methods than normal. We're dealing with a vicious murderer. If I let him go, the blood would be on my hands. We won our guilty verdict, and the killer was executed. Wait, you didn't... Of course not! I didn't touch the evidence! Yes, I will do anything in my power to win a trial. However... I do have a code, and I follow it faithfully. By the way, Emma, the Chief Prosecutor wanted to know something. M my sister? What? If you were still studying forensic science... Huh? Yeah, of course! Why, just today, Mr. Ray and I were using this! Luminal testing fluid, mm hmm? Well then, you might have a use for this. Aluminum powder for taking fingerprints? It's been chemically treated for better adhesion. F for me? Are you sure? We are the enemy, you know. I have no say in today's investigation. Do as you will. Edgeworth, I'm really... No need to thank me. Here, take your powder and these fingerprint files for everyone involved. I... Uh, th thanks? I will give these to Detective Gumshoe as well. <laughs> that's a lot of... That's a lot. Well, let's get going. One last investigation. Right. I do seem to remember yes. seeing a suspicious handprint somewhere. I guess after this uh, next thing... Do you want yeah, this to, is uh... the this is the last thing, and yeah, and I and we're gonna we're gonna call it after that for sure. All right, all right, cool. Oh, you think it's the last thing? Yeah. Okay. Uh. True. Actually, I'll just come on my. Okay. <laughs> Sorry about that. My he my head my headphones died. Um, oh jeez. <laughs> okay. Are you using uh, Bluetooth turned headphones? Up a suspicious handprint. You're using uh you were using Bluetooth headphones. Uh, can you hear me? Oh, there we go. Okay, yeah, yeah I'm right. good now. I had to, I had to change okay. the settings. Gotcha. <laughs> change headphones. <laughs> Um, all right, uh, here in this, uh, here in this blood on that detective said at, at detective's evidence locker. Well, let's use a secret weapon we just borrowed. Right, let's get started. First, choose a finger. A finger? Each finger leaves behind a slightly different imprint. So let's choose a finger that will have left behind the clearest print. So I'm assuming it'd either be the index or the thumb. The thumb, I think yeah. The in I think the index. I really can't tell the difference at a glance. Quit procrastinating and choose a finger. I would think it's the index because the thumb looks like it's on the side. No? Rear? Yeah, I think it's more of a the side of the thumb, so I, I assume it... Oh yeah, I know what you mean. Okay, now it's time to check for prints. Let me show you how it's done. I'm starting to get that sparkle in her eyes. First, we sprinkle the aluminum powder around. Huh? How do you do that? With the 
enter button. See? Ah, it looks like that did the trick. Aluminum powder adheres completely to the thing to the print. Once the powder is well spread, just blow away the excess. Huh? How do we do that? With the E button. Exciting, I know. <laughs> I'm not. Imagine you're blowing out the ca imagine you're blowing out the candles on a birthday cake. See? Wow, that looks like fun. Might take some getting used to though. It's fine. It won't go up your nose or anything. Just pour the powder on thick and blow away the extra. These are the basics of fingerprinting, Mr. Wright. Just hit hit enter and E. <laughs> yeah, I guess I'd better give it a try. Okay, so. Yay. Okay. Aha, you did it. You found one. But this looks nothing like a fingerprint. Hmm. That you mention it, I guess it doesn't. What does it mean? I think it means we're out of luck. Out of luck? The person who left this handprint must have worn gloves. Don't tell me we've been wasting our time here. Hey, calm down. That's just the way it goes sometimes with scientific investigations. But it does seem a shame. While we're at it, why don't we look for other prints? Other prints? Looking at the lo locker door cl again closely... Yeah, there's another print there. Oh, yeah. I didn't even catch that. It seems there are fingerprints outside the bloody hamper as well. Let's see if we can find a clear print. Hmm, fingerprints outside the blood. I guess it's yep that dark shade. Interesting. Yep. Okay. Now what am I missing? I guess we're probably. I guess the bottom here. right. Yeah. Yeah, the bottom right seems kind of. And there's a little bit here maybe. I guess if anything, just like go ape on it. Just like try to fill in as much as possible. I guess so. <laughs> Might as well. Apparently you have a never ending supply of aluminum powder. Yep. <laughs> Edgeworth really knows where to get his stuff, huh? There we go. Okay. Yay, a print so clear it's dazzling. D dazzling? Anyway, this print took a lot of effort to find. And a lot of aluminum powder. Yeah. Let's match it. Let's match it up right away. So we're not done yet. This is quite a process. Well, there's no point finding a fingerprint and not knowing who the owner is, right? I guess she's right. Look at the fingerprint data we got from Mr. Edgeworth, and point out the person who you think left these prints. Huh, how am I supposed to know who it was? I could... I could make a pretty good guess. Bloody handprint, the fingerprints are in different places, right? I mean, the prints probably don't have anything to do with their case. So whose fingerprint would we most likely find on this evidence locker? Edgeworth? Or was he even an option? It was either Edgeworth or Gumshoe, I think. <laughs> Gumshoe's in there a quite yep, a bit. Yep, it's Gumshoe, alright. <laughs> Aha! So these prints belong to Detective Gumshoe. 
something wrong, Mr. Wright? You gave me this so what look. I guess that's probably because I was thinking, so what? <laughs> okay, so we came up with nothing this time, but there's always next time. Sometimes you hit, sometimes you miss. You gotta roll with the punches, Mr. Wright. Thanks for the sympathy. Wait, if I remember correctly, there was one other handprint in this room. Check it out. Mm, to the left? That's not what I want to do. Yeah, I think it's yeah, on the left one. Right? Yeah, the hidden one. We got a luminal fluid reaction, right? Right! There was a handprint here. Okay. Want to try using this? There go her eyes sparkling again. Okay, let's check for prints. That's the spirit? Oh, but I have to warn you about something first. What? The area with the blood that, uh... The area with the blood was wiped away, right? We only ended up finding it using chemical means. Any prints in that area will have been wiped away, too. Oh, right. That means no prints. Would you say the probability of your hypothesis is high? Don't ask me. Anyway, we must try to find prints that weren't wiped away. Prints other than the ones left by the bloody hand. Prints other than the ones left by the bloody hand. I mean, I don't see anything else. Yeah, really. Because the only other bloody... Like, the only other blood we found was on the floor. Gotta go through it again because I accidentally pressed B. Yeah. So I guess maybe... I think we were looking for fingerprints that weren't bloody. Um, oh, I can't... Oh, so I guess... Okay, right here. Oh, okay, I found it. I just had to click around. Couldn't see it because of the red. Yeah, spread all that cocaine. I mean, aluminum powder. You, get, you think it's good? Dude, I don't think that's enough. Not even nearly enough. You're right. Enough. <laughs> okay, um... Uh, not quite no. can't. Oh, oh, it's right there. Jake. Okay. Oh, Jake Marshall. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Hey, these fingerprints, they. Who's are they? Whose? Is this someone I know? It's Officer Marshall. <gasps> Officer. Jake Marshall? Gotta be a coincidence, he's not involved in the crime. Emma. This is decidedly different from Detective Gumshoe's prints. The luminal reaction, the blood and the fingerprints are in the same place. Uh, oh! So we have Jake Marshall's fingerprints on a wiped blood stain. But why would Officer Marshall... It looks like our investigation is finally turning up some results. I guess this is what you'd call decisive evidence. Uh, I don't believe it. Be continued. Jeez. Damn, that was a lot of investigating, but also I feel like it was long because we were... Uh... Oh, we all yeah, we definitely were fumbling it for sure. Okay, <laughs> but yeah, we're definitely gonna call this one here.